Hi, my name is Lori Stilger and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I would like to show you how to do this little lace around these hearts. Several of you have been on my blog and have asked about how to do this. Um, if you have not been to my blog and you're just on YouTube looking around, I will put my blog address at the end of this video. If you see anything while you're watching this video that you would like to purchase and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can go to this website right here and place an order 24-7. We are um, in our celebration period right now, which means that you can get anything in this book plus another list of things from the big book for free for every $50 in purchase that you make. Today we're going to be using the heart, the Pinking Hearts uh, border punch. This is one of our new designs. If you flip it over and pull that button, you've locked it flat so that you can stack these on top. To unlock it, you just slide the button back and it pushes the punch back open so that you can use it. This is in the Occasions Mini on page 11. You can see it right here. There's also a Pinking Hearts border punch um, for corners that we will not be dealing with today. We're going to use this punch right here. So today's project uses up scraps very well. I don't know about you, but I have lots of these thin kind of scraps laying around, and I have lots of designer series paper scraps laying around. You could do these hearts with, these are cardstock, but you could do them with designer series paper or with punched images. All you'd have to do is just make sure when we um, get to the step that you put the adhesive on the back instead of on the front. But that's getting ahead of myself. Let me show you a little bit about these punches. This punch has a punch range of these two lines that are right here. I'm not quite sure if you can see those or not. Um, but if as long as you're within those two, you are within the punch body itself. And there are also places on this punch where you can see here that you will line up to make sure that your punch is straight. So I'm going to put my strip of tempting turquoise, which I've cut to 5 8 inch width, in that punch body and do my first punch. Oh, I didn't quite get under the body, so we'll do it again on the other end. That's fixable and I'll show you in a second. Okay, just like that. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to put it back under there and line it up so that I've covered up the gray that's in these borders here. And I'm going to punch again. Let me make sure that I'm covered there. There we go. Okay, and so you just keep going. Okay, when you do this, like I did on this end, it's super simple to fix. You just put it in, slide the punch back towards where it needs to be which in this case is this way, and you just punch it again. And as long as you're lined up, you're going to punch just fine. Okay, through the magic of television, I've got one I've already punched here, so you don't have to watch me mess up every other punch. And I've got my crimper, which is in the Idea Book and Catalog. And I'm going to insert this piece of Tempting Turquoise in there and turn the handle. And you can see that it kind of corrugates your cardstock. And I'm going to just keep going until I get to the end, and then I'm going to put it back through again. I'm trying to break down the paper fibers just a little bit. So once it's done, okay, just like that, I'm going to put that right there while we use our full heart punch to punch out another scrap. And I like to turn it over so that I can see when I'm not punching right and when I can get just as close without using too much cardstock because I like, see, I like to keep it as much as, as I can to use. So, it doesn't matter since it's cardstock which side I put the adhesive on. This is our snail and I'm just going to put it all the way around the edge of this heart. Again, if you're using designer series paper, make sure you put the adhesive on the back side, not the side you want to show. So I'm going to turn it around so the front's facing me and the adhesive is on the back. And I'm going to take our strip that we ran through the crimper and I like to start it right about there in the, the middle of the top of the heart. I think it's easier for me, but you can start it wherever you want to because it will overlap. Now, I'm starting so I have just a little bit of a border between the hearts and the punch, and I'm pressing it into the adhesive. As I go around this corner, I'm going to 
crimp it just a little bit. See, and I'm pleating and pushing it into the adhesive to keep that little bit of a border. Okay, pleating and pushing. Pleating and pushing. So you can see I've got several pleats here. And now we're on the straightaway, so I should be able to do pretty easy here. Just push it into the adhesive till we get to the bottom. And this is a big pleat because it needs to turn around that punch bottom. So one big pleat, and then we go back to the straightaway and push it into the adhesive. Make sure it's not gonna come up. We get to the curve of the heart again, and we just pleat and push. Pleat and push. And I hope you can see that we're keeping just a little thin border between those hearts and the punch. Pleat and push. And we're almost to the end here. Okay. So when I get down to the middle of the heart, turn it over and set it down. I'm going to take my paper snips and I'm going to cut that. You can use that for another project. You're done with the, the strip at this point. I'm going to push that into the adhesive and there's our heart. Again, I'll pull these other two over and put this one with it. These make great scrapbook embellishments or card fronts or any kind of decoration that you can think of. I hope that you will Check out my blog to see more ideas. Again, if you'd like to purchase anything that we use today, you can go here and purchase it 24-7. My name again is Lori, and I hope you have a great day.